to finish up? Want me to finish book? What? Come here, let me finish book. Okay, Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning. And they're looking at him with a wide, warm smile. Was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said. And you're going to be my very own bear. I'm Lisa, she said. And you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Look, little girl's buying corduroy. Isn't that so great? Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Woohoo! Corduroy's got to own it. Corduroy's got to own it. Corduroy's got to own it. Her name is Lisa. His name is Lisa. Yeah! Yeah! Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and <laughs> alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. I'll come home, Mommy. Lisa sat down with Corduroy in her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, he said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. Hey, yay! Corduroy's got an owner. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa. And she gave him a big hug. Like this. <laughs> I love you. Woody and Jesse? Okay. Alright, All right, we'll play them. Say bye. bye you want to give you want to give Cameron kisses? I'll play with Jesse. Give Cameron a kiss. <laughs> that was corduroy, my friends. Boy. I got your presents, Bobby. What is it? Is it corduroy? Ah, oh, shucks. <laughs>